An internal memo from Air Canada has been leaked to the press. It was specifically leaked to CBC. And it talks about how Air Canada continues to have an issue with its pilots bringing porn into the cockpit. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I want to read you from the, in, uh, the memo that's been leaked. Uh, it says the following. I am disappointed to have to raise this issue once again, but unfortunately we have some people that have yet to understand the message. Raise the issue. <laughs> so this has uh, come up in two different occasions, right? Okay. Come up. <laughs> um, and so, but here's the thing. It's one specific flight that keeps going to Vegas. And what they found were those like cards that those dudes pass out in Vegas when they're uh -huh. like standing on when they go like this. Oh uh, yeah. In your face. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right? And they're just in your face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean okay. anyway. So like sometimes they hand it to you and you don't realize what's happening and you take it and you're like, oh, you just put it in your pocket, right? And then you bring it to the cockpit and attach it to the machinery that's incredibly important to landing the plane. <laughs> yes, okay, so let me tell you why this is a problem, right? Of course yeah. there's the pornographic nature of it, but there are some technical concerns. So according to Mary Pollock, who is an aviation health and safety occupational officer, okay, she says, uh, the last part of this quote is my favorite, pilots are stuffing paper material inside compartments where electrical wiring is, and that this is a hazard, not to mention that this is a form of workplace violence. Oh, violence, okay, just she's gotta calm, calm down. Calm down. Okay, all right, Mary, just please, okay. Now, she had us until then. Look, don't stuff papers into electrical wiring on a plane. Mm -hmm. She's absolutely right about that. But actually, women complain about this. Look, it's not workplace violence, but if common sense says, uh, you have somebody who says, hey, I don't like your porn in the workplace, take the frickin' porn down. It's, it's easy, way too easy. If somebody keeps the porn up, they're being a dick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, so and when I read the story, and by the way, some of the uh, pictures were actually it, violent in nature. Now, she, I'm not sure she meant it that way, right? But like they had a, a woman being stabbed or something like that. So, no, no, my point is that no matter what they are, mm -hmm. the guy by leaving it up, it's not like he's doing it like, oh, I'm gonna get off on this. Yeah, he's doing it I mean, it I hope not in the <laughs> middle of the cockpit with a co-pilot there and stuff like that. He's doing it to say, I'm marking my territory. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna listen to the rules, and I'm gonna get in your face about it, and I run this place, mm -hmm. right? So now, if I was his boss, and I told him to take it down, and he get, has that kind of attitude, and it's bothering the other pilots and the other women that are in the area, hey, well, you gotta regulate, because that's bullshit. Like, yeah. I don't care about porn in the workplace, but if some people are uncomfortable with it, come on, dude. Yeah, you have to be respectful of your colleagues, absolutely. That's right. I mean, take your porn home. Well, God bless. Okay. Go to work, ironically. Go ahead. <laughs> that was my main contribution to the story. Right.